So let's look at our first program. So go to Genie, open the editor, save the file as uh, typetest.py and copy paste all these lines in there. Starting from this hash sign down to this print tax rate plus five and see what's happening. Okay, so let's look at top down what happens. So first line is a comment. If you remember last lecture, so anything that starts with a hash is a comment. What's happening? You are testing different types in the same variables, so whatever you can write. You want to write as an explanation for your program. Next line, tax rate equals five. So what does this line do? So this line defines five as an integer and puts it in this variable. So you define a variable called tax rate and give a value of five. Now remember it's uh, Python is case sensitive. So tax rate, if you have a capital R here, you have to use the same variable. If you uh, put tax rate with a small r down here, then that's a totally different variable, okay? So that's one common error that people uh, starting programmers have is that you think that you are talking about the same variable when you have misspelled it, okay? And misspelled could be even the, smile, the slightest change in the case of one of the characters is a totally different variable, okay? So we defined it as five, you print it. Again, remember if you put something without quotes, it's computed. Right, so in this case, you said print tax rate. What is tax rate? The compiler will compute it, meaning it will go to this memory location, retrieve the value five, put five here. So what's printed on the screen? Only five. Then down here, you're changing the same variable? No, you are not, right? So here you define tax rate with a small r, and 5.5. So this tax rate is totally different from the, these, this variable. Hence, when you print tax rate with a uppercase R, the value is printed as five. Why? Because tax rate with a capital R is 5.5. What is, uh, sorry, five? With a small R, it's 5.5. So if you want to see this 5.5, you write this variable name in here, okay? And then, uh, can you do something like this? Yes, you can. So what would it will do is that it will delete five and put this thing in its place. So now tax rate becomes this new variable which is of type string. When you print it, it will execute this or compute this variable. It will print non-taxable on the screen. And this is a way that you define a string variable, okay? So if you see integers, floats, they are not defined inside codes, but if you want to define a variable as a string, it has to be inside codes. Okay, so when you print tax rate, non-taxable without quotes is printed on the screen because quotes are only to tell the compiler that within quotes is something which is a of type string. But when you print it, it's printed without quotes, text non-taxable. Now, if you print something like this, now we said it has to... Um, Uh, compute it, right? So this will compute the value of non-taxable plus five. See what error you get, okay? Because you have, you're trying to add a value to a string or characters, you're trying to add five to it. See if the compiler allows you to do that, okay? Then let's say if you get an error, 
change this line into something like this plus something inside quotes. In this case, let's say I put two question marks inside quotes plus the what was tax rate? The last value of tax rate is non-taxable, right? As a string. When you put plus another string, save your changes and run your program and see what do you see, okay? So you will most likely see non-taxable question mark, question mark without any spaces because, uh, sorry, uh, your non-taxable finishes here and the next string starts without any space. If you want to put a space, then put a space right here after the quotes, the first quote, okay? Anyway, so the result you will see is non-taxable, question mark, question mark. Why? Because now the compiler knows that the first thing is a string and I'm adding the string to another string. So that's just like saying that append this thing to the previous string. Okay, and we're gonna devote a whole unit on strings later. But that's what's going to happen. 